Hi, this is Kedar here from UiPath. I'm here with Tommy from Elisa. I'm uh, Tommy Korpela, working in Elisa, a uh, telecommunications company in uh, Finland. And I'm um, head of customer and online solutions, which means I'm uh, responsible for uh, CRM systems and uh, online uh, sites like uh, e-commerce and uh, self-service and, and so forth. And also leading the RPA initiative in Elisa. Excellent. Yeah. So tell me, what uh, what made you go down the RPA mm -hmm. path? I mean, what uh, yeah. because we're starting with mm -hmm. kind of giving people an mm -hmm. idea, you know, yeah. why different organizations choose RPA. So yes. can you share with us your... Uh, uh, yeah. Three years ago, we, we wanted to yeah look into this new te technology, RPA, what's it all about, and uh, start piloting it and evaluating the technology. And uh, we have been doing automation for years in Elisa. And uh, um, basically, we were at the same level now that there wasn't any any new automation opportunities with the existing technologies so rpa was something we wanted the, to try and find if uh, it gives us more automation and uh, in some process we, we weren't able to automate before so that was like experimentation at first and then quickly we uh, saw the results and the impact it had and uh, we really were eager to, to start scaling that forward. So, yeah. So, Tommy, what uh, what next for uh, for Elisa from an automation perspective? So, yeah, it's uh, next for us, as, as everyone is talking about AI, it's for us also to integrate these new technologies with RPA robots to uh, go hand in hand with the RPA and uh, machine learning algorithms, for instance, which we are also building inside our company. For instance, chatbot, we see we already have chatbot in production and uh, one use case would be to trigger RPA robots via chatbot if, if a customer wants for instance to execute the SIM card change for instance that is something that uh, we can integrate these different technologies and uh, RPA will do the, the hard hard work on the background. So this is excellent because yeah. you're talking about a traditionally mm -hmm. uh, manual process. Yeah, yeah definitely. And so everything <clears throat> will be automated the whole customer service process and, and the delivery process in, in the latter. So this is all about improved yeah. customer service. Yeah, yeah, and customer experience especially, yeah. They can do it any any time of the day and, <laughs> uh, and they, they get the service. Yeah. That is excellent. Yeah. So Tommy, any advice for uh, other mm. companies around the world who would yeah. be watching? What should they be thinking of when they yeah, go definitely down? Yeah, definitely RPS, the technology you should look into and uh, and uh, start your own experimentations, and uh, and uh, then you will see that the new opportunities that it will give you. And uh, to be able to scale up, you need to train uh, your personnel for RPA so that everyone is aware where it can be used, where it's at its best, and um, yeah, how to start scaling up and uh, integrating with these other technologies as well. Excellent, Tommy. Yeah. Thank you so much. That thank was you. very insightful. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.